Hey, what's up, Pizzaholics? Welcome to another Lost episode of a review that I did during the pandemic of Giuseppe's Pizza in Staten Island. It was one of those videos I was unhappy with the lighting, audio was a little off, I didn't like the analysis of the pizza, and so I kept the video private. By the way, that bagel store, Bagels R Us, one of the best in all of the city. They make the bagels fresh every few hours. The pizza was thin, really looked good uh, aesthetically. It was neat. It was tight. Not too much cheese. The right amount of sauce. The ratio was on point. It had a nice crackle on the bend. And uh, it was a very large slice and it did not flop. So it was a very well-balanced slice of pizza. And I'm very familiar with this pizza. I grew up eating it. I kind of live in the neighborhood. This is the place my parents go to whenever they want a pie. The owner is always there. He's hands-on. And uh, he's, he's there all the time. And so uh, the pizza is a reflection of that. Now, it was crispy from the middle to the back. I did not get the crispy first bite, but it was crispy from the middle to the back. And back then, I was only scoring the crunch intensity and not the overall crunch coverage of the slice. Nice and neat, like I said, tight pizza. No grease, quality ingredients. Love the color of the tomato sauce. It was nice and bright. It wasn't too dark. Really, really good pizza. And as we moved into the lab, you're going to get a closer look at that uh, pretty much perfect cheese to sauce ratio. Uh, could use a little more sauce maybe, but for a New York cheese slice, this is good. Uh, for me, I always want more sauce. But for a New York quintessential style slice, pretty damn good. Uh, you can see that presence of tomato sauce. It's not just lost under a blanket of thick cheese. The bottom had some good crunch, and the top of the cornichon was soft. The chew kind of got a little heavier as you got towards the back of the pizza. The top of the cornichon was very soft, but uh, it had a bit of a chew to it. But at least the bottom was crispy. You bit through that pillowy crust. You know, not the airiest crust on earth, but at least that bottom was crispy. And if you look at the signage for Giuseppe's Pizza, it says Giuseppe's Thin and Crispy Pizza. So he's marketing his pizza as guaranteed crispy. And it was pretty much, uh, despite the moderate amount of chew to that dough. Let's get a closer look at the tomato sauce there, guys. Look how bright it is. Good, decent tomato. Didn't taste watered down. There's always a nice tang to that sauce, good amount of it, and uh, there's, there was no oregano. I like the oregano baked into the pizza. Uh, you can put it on yourself, but I like the oregano uh, pre-bake. It perfumes the pizza. A great slice, and uh, it did okay on the cold test. Uh, there was some crunch left, uh, mostly towards the back, though. Uh, most of the slice did lose its crunch after uh, cooling down so uh hey it's one of those pizzas that'll make you cross the street i mean there's a pizzeria across the street seven five this is the pizza that will make you cross that street even though you're closer to another pizzeria you're gonna go out of your way and yeah it's not joe's but you, it's gonna it's a pizzeria that's gonna make you walk an extra block seven five for giuseppe's um uh, a solid pizza, you know, it, it's always a good thing when the owner's there uh, and, uh, you know, making sure the pizza's made properly by whatever help he has. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one, guys. Um, Health-wise, um, like I said, I'm not eating pizza right now. That's why I'm uh, putting these lost videos out. I uh, got to stay on the keto diet for a while, but I hope to be back. Hopefully sooner than later. It may take some time. Hopefully it won't. So uh, I hope you're enjoying these lost episodes. Hey, better than nothing, right? Giuseppe's Pizza, highly recommend it. You know me, guys. A 7.5, that's a big score for this style of pizza. Um, does it stand out on its own? Not really. But, like I said, uh, it will make you skip uh, the pizzeria across the street for this i can guarantee you that so until next time guys keep those bellies full this is antonio signing off